Welcome to the University of Fiji, a unique center of learning, offering quality and affordable higher education for its most important stakeholders, its students. Here, you will enjoy an amazing experience, learning many good things within a short period of time, discovering all the opportunities that we offer you. You will be introduced here to many new concepts that will change your view of the world, that will be challenging and intense. Well, we have the best professors in the business that, uh, who are teaching here. Uh, all our deans are eminent professors uh, in the community, well recognized by generations of students um, at, who have gone to USB or FNU as well as University of Fiji. And we consider ourselves to be the best in the business and provide the best education that the students would need in higher education. So that is something that I think we're, you know, we need to emphasize because we're very much very proud of that. Um, all of our staff are now upskilling themselves as well. Uh, PhD is becoming a requirement for renewal of, renewal of contracts. Um, we are looking at the community to see what um, additional skills apart from formal qualifications and the hard qualifications that people had, have in order to be able to uh, employ uh, our staff. As a recognized provider of higher education in Fiji and funded by the Aria Pratinidi Saba, which has itself provided quality primary, secondary and religious education in Fiji over a century, the university has also been generously funded through grants by the government of Fiji. In this day and age, in fact in any day and age, um, education is probably the only thing that allows the population of a country to not only upskill but also be employed um, and to realize their dreams and their hopes and their ambitions. And the University of Fiji wants every student that enters its doors to realize their dreams and hopes and aspirations, not only their own but also their parents' aspirations, their families, their community and the society and the nation state as a whole. Established by decree in 2004, the university opened its doors a year later and currently has two campuses, one in Saweni in Lautoka and the other in Samambula Suva. The university for 15 years has been embracing the notion of building a knowledge-based society and we continue to do that because the more knowledgeable and informed a society is, the more benefit it gives to um, economic development and economic growth of our country. From those humble beginnings have arisen a university that now offers accessible, first-class higher education facilities. From 2017 to 2021, eight strategic priorities were set for the university to pursue a global path towards academic excellence. These are learning and teaching, student experience, research, environmental and social responsibility, infrastructure and systems, governance and financial sustainability, risk management and accountability framework. Here at the University of Fiji, we want all students to be part of the future-ready People's University. And it was for students, we're also beginning to emphasize both hard skills and soft skills. So soft skills are the skills of empathy, integrity, uh, compassion, a determination to do your duty towards the community and the hard skills are the ones of, of formal qualifications which have to be of quality as well. So the coronavirus and, and the advent of the pandemic has uh, allowed us to review the kind of students, uh, the kind of qualities in the students that we want who we then you know, uh, send forth into the world to make the nation state better or the world better. There's no secret um, to the fact that um, the global pandemic has put everyone on the back foot. Um, young people, um, older people, uh, institutions, institutions of government, institutions of the of, of uh, higher education. Uh, everybody is now considering what to do with respect to the global pandemic. And what the university has done is uh, take a good look and review our strategic plan to see whether in fact we're fulfilling the obligations of society given the pandemic and not just this pandemic but pandemics to come because we're in the age of the pandemic yes. now and we have to take that as a, as a reality of the situation. So the University of Fiji has reviewed what we will do, it's had a couple of um, community consultations about the subject and we've also had uh, uh, roundtables and we've uh, you know, talked to our community 
and we're looking at how we can review the programs of the university to uh, respond to the notion of the pandemic and the notion of social distancing, um, embracing online teaching as well as face-to-face -face teaching in a, an appropriate balance to keep the safety and, and uh, health of the uh, university community in mind. And so we're, every day we, we consider how we're going to be able to cope with the pandemic, but in a positive way. So we see the pandemic as an opportunity to review ourselves, our programs, our qualifications, and also our strengths. But at the University of Fiji, you can make the best of those opportunities and enjoy them along the way. A fully recognized university, recognized and respected by employers, from which many have graduated in position of work readiness skills that are marketable anywhere. The community and the industry and that we need different kinds of skills and so the University of Fiji has um, produced two programs just beginning in 2021. The first one is a Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies which allows students to have not just one kind of knowledge in one discipline but a myriad of disciplines which they can um, use to find employment anywhere um, because they are skilled in um, science as well as arts and humanities, practical uh, subjects such as uh, agricultural practice and so on. And then we have another very important program that uh, we're starting in 2021 as well and that is the Bachelor of Medical Health Sciences. Now that is a two-year qualification, a degree, um, it's a trimester-based degree qualification and the Bachelor of Medical Health Sciences allows the students to become uh, paramedics um, and to get careers in uh, laboratories and the lab sciences and the whole host of different careers that are available now in public health, community health and medical science. So that, that again is a program that has come about as a result of coronavirus because we realise that um, government is no longer supporting um, doctors, sponsoring students to become doctors in the MBBS program and so the University of Fiji having a medical school had to come up with a program that would be suitable for the 21st century realities. With five academic schools and other centres of excellence, the university is well placed to address the needs of our society. Improving the students' holistic experience and development has been a priority of the university. And every other program and uh, paradigm has to shift in relation to coping with the pandemic because the pandemic has uh, made sure that uh, we can't consider industry in the same way that we did last year this time last year or before 2020. So the, the pandemic has uh, you know, allowed us, given us an opportunity to think creatively with respect to our own disciplines. And for law, it's what's uh, interesting is that uh, law is no longer just so that you can practice law in a profession, but it is also a kind of almost like a technology or methodology that allows graduates to go into any sphere of work, whether it's the corporate world, whether it's NGOs, or whether it's the international community, uh, whether it's uh, the United Nations. Um, so law isn't just about being a lawyer and, and looking after clients in that way that we've been training students in the past, but law is more now about being able to fit into any world. And that's what the School of Law, the JDB School of Law, is now focusing on to ensure that our graduates have a wide range of skills and not just hard black letter law to be able to cope with the industry and with the employment situation that is confronted us now. Uh, prospective law students realize the difficult situation that lawyers are facing currently. A lot of law firms, um, and this is of public knowledge, um, have had to contract the number of hours that they work during the week, the number of days they work during the week, and have reduced um, the uh, pay that they give lawyers as well for salaries. Uh, purely because, you know, the companies that normally hire lawyers for business 
um, are no longer there or they themselves have contracted. So, but the students, like all human beings, we, we tend to pretend that the harsh reality is not there. But we as uh, uh, lecturers and academics and also administrators have to face that reality and make sure that we are not shortchanging our students. So we explain to the students right at the beginning, not only is the work becoming harder, it's we're becoming more efficient, we're trying to become more effective as well, and we're also ensuring that the kind of law that we produce is law for the 21st century and the 21st century as a national interest and not just as a global interest. So I'm hoping we're about to go into registration now for law and for the other subjects as well. Um, and I'm hoping that the students will understand that the future in law is, uh, is hugely uh, important and interesting. But they have to turn their minds to the kind of, the different kind of careers that they're going to now have to do in order to be able to be successful in a chosen profession, which is where students exercise their uh, right to speak and to, the right to be heard as well. So we have a much broader perspective on law than the conventional law schools, both in Fiji and overseas. The School of Research and Economics of the University of Fiji extends its hands towards to upgrade and upskill your knowledge, competencies and talents after your secondary education at schools. We provide platforms for undergraduate, postgraduate education leading to certificates, diplomas, degrees, postgraduate uh, uh, degrees as well as the PhD. Also, we provide short courses towards workplace capacity development in the industry. In today's context, due to the influence to the economy from the COVID-19, we emphasize more on small and medium enterprise engagements by providing them education and training to start and operate a more successful business entity. Let us work together with you to make your dream a success. Teaching quality of any department is uh, represented by the staff who teach the program and all our staff are fully qualified to teach all the courses that uh, are offered in the department. The second thing I'd like to talk about are the programs. We have a certificate in management, we have diploma in management, we have bachelor of commerce in management, single major, and bachelor of commerce in management, double major. The difference between the two is with single major, you choose to do uh, only courses in management, while in double major, you choose management and a second major. The second major can be from a wide range of majors that include accounting, economics, IT, uh, information technology, ETO case studies. And uh, the other postgraduate programs in the department include the postgraduate diploma in management, the masters of commerce in management and PhD in management. Apart from that, we have a newly introduced program which started this year. Uh, which is the Bachelor of Commerce in Tourism Studies double major, which means that you can take uh, the double major in Tourism Studies with Accounting, Economics, Management, Information Technology, Ito Case Studies, regardless of what you do in year 13, whether you're doing agriculture, whether you're doing uh, office technology, whether you're doing techno technical drawing, whether you're doing physics, chemistry, any majors, you can pursue any of our courses in management. So all you need is a pass in year 13 with 200 and above marks, uh, English plus best three, and I pass in English. A common misconception that those who want a qualification in economics need to have prior uh, knowledge of economics, especially Form 7 or uh, Foundation Economics. This is not entirely true. Prospective students who are science-based 
with knowledge of mathematics, physics or engineering can become very good economic students. Others can also enter as Machiba students. Economics is an interesting field of study with economy-wide job opportunities. To obtain an internationally recognized accounting qualification that will unlock the opportunities to build a strong business career, join the University of Fiji. Students who want to have a particular atmosphere to study under it and have a particular focus of the courses that we have. In particular, we have a lot of postgrad students who are attracted to us because we have very distinguished professors who have served in all over the place, all over the world. Uh, I myself have been at the University of South Pacific for 20 years, and I was, before I left there, the head and professor of the Department of Education in Psychology um, and uh, tutored so many students who came for postgrad studies for their degrees to teach in universities and tertiary institutions apart from teaching those who come and teach in Fiji at the primary and secondary. Uh, there is also a distinguished professor, Professor Subramani, who is part of our school School of Humanities and uh, Arts. He was also a professor in literature uh, at the University of South Pacific. Similarly, we have Professor Singh, who was professor in science. So the people who want uh, a different kind of atmosphere uh, is provided in the smaller universities uh, all over the world, of which we are uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, emulating. Uh, and we ensure to uh, attract distinguished professors and have people who want to study here as different from those who want to study under government uh, tutelage. Uh, uh, the government, for example, uh, uh, owns the University of South Pacific as well as the National University of Fiji. But and the professors who study in there have to resign uh, when they reach a particular age. I believe it is uh, 65 or 60. Uh, it used to be in my time about 60. But that's the very time when the professors really want to teach in the areas of their expertise and they attract students because they want to study under senior professors. So for those who wish to have that kind of attention, whether it be post-grad study areas or whether some uh, particular areas of expertise of our senior professors, uh, we are very happy to have them here. I, for example, have a call every day for people coming to, wanting to come and do post-grad in education. Uh, Subramani and the others in the, the respective areas as well. So we are very conscious of serving the people in the West. And to tell you more about our programs, uh, uh, we have got uh, uh, special program coordinators with us over here. Professor Tupenim Bamba and myself, we coordinate the Doctor of Education program, the PhD uh, program, so at the doctoral level, you'll find us over there. Uh, together with uh, Ms. Mohini Devi and uh, Ms. Pratika Gounder, I coordinate the uh, Master of Educational Leadership program. Then we have got a Bachelor of Teaching program and uh, this program is uh, coordinated by Mr. Ruveri Twimavana and Ms. Pratika Gounder. They look after this uh, Bachelor of Teaching both in-service and pre-service programs. So why should you come to UniFiji? Well, first and foremost, we, are, we have got well-qualified and experienced staff. They are well educated, they are well trained and uh, they have got vast teaching experience and uh, they have done ample research and publications so they know about the job and it will be a privilege uh, to come and uh, study under their uh, able leadership. Language, Literature and Communication Department is a creative department. Creative in the sense students are are able to express themselves through creative writing. They write pieces of poems or pieces of uh, uh, short stories 
and they do cartoon pictures they do drawing and then these are edited by the head of the department and then we put them on the creative circle board which is called the first lending chronicle and the students work is displayed there at the university of pg we also have a postgraduate committee and the postgraduate committee is chaired by a very able and energetic and uh, energetic uh, professor professor tupeni bamba he also provides a lot of academic support to the phd students during my study here at the university of pg being a part time student what i have noticed is that they provide a lot of support student support to the students what they do is uh, they they get touch or they touch base with the phd students and uh, I found uh, the, uh, the experience having study here at the university as a part time student very engaging, meaningful, and profound experience. We also have uh, a lot of IT support provided by the IT personnel, and we also have uh, uh, a very robust and uh, engaging and friendly uh, staff here at. Uh, the, at the library whereby they also attend to any request that we have as a phd student i have also um, engaged with the it it services as well as the library support that the university provides and i can vouch that this is the best university that you can uh, study and they will always assist the phd students welcome to the school of science and technology or soast for short I am uh, the Dean of SOST, Professor Anirudh Singh. At the School of Science and Technology, uh, we, we offer you the opportunity to undertake studies in science, computer science and mathematics. We offer a range of undergraduate courses in biology, chemistry, environmental science, physics, renewable energy in the science department. In the computer science and mathematics department, we offer you uh, courses in IT, and mathematics. We don't stop at the undergraduate level. We go to the postgraduate level and at the postgraduate level in IT we have uh, postgraduate diploma programs in IT as well as some master's programs as well. In the case of science we have two uh, postgraduate programs. One of them is called the postgraduate diploma in energy and environment and the other is a master's in renewable energy management. This is a unique course which is offered by UniFiji alone. We offer a quality medical education with eyes on the future, including a Bachelor of Nursing degree. We offer a contact for clinical students in four of the regional hospitals. Our main hospital is Latoka, which is about five minutes from our campus. We also attend the clinical settings in Nandi Hospital, Singatoka Hospital, Ba Hospital, and Tabwa. We have a wide range of experiences for our students, including all the major specialties of internal medicine, surgery, obstetrics, pediatrics, with, ex with express interest in burns and trauma. We offer a wide variety of experiences for our students as it prepares them for the modern world of medicine and as all of us know this can change very quickly. We incorporate online teaching as well as face to face. We have exposure to a wide variety of operating room uh, techniques including an active burn unit and of course pediatrics. With this we offer our students the chance to meld into the future and be prepared for continuous medical education by attending conferences, working with other medical groups, uh, writing papers, and encouraging, to, um, encouraging all of our students to engage in research where it's applicable and indicated. We look forward to having all of you apply to UPSM as it grows and expands. And at UPSM, we say, read, 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 so that you can learn to lead, lead, lead. Hello everyone, so I'm Farad, a third year medical student at UPSM. So the best thing about our school is that it is a conducive environment for learning. For example, if we take a look around here in this tent, so it's all surrounded with greeneries, like plants and everything. So when you come here, it's a very relaxing, it calms you and then you can study well. Hi, I'm Pravnita Lal. I'm originally from Lamasa and right now I'm a third year medical student here at UPSM. 
So, and I have learned so many things here at UPSM, so that is why I enjoy, I enjoy doing this course. Pero me toya buki no nasenta fui toki studies, se na bu bilu bilu bunwa. Nasu tapa na ngan da bilu toro daki. Ena mui ra nonda bunwa. Endi na nindur na bu bilu ane tapi bimbi ni soli kosi. Se program ni bu bilu ane bika bage toki. Ne bago ngai to talanga na kia na mudi ni kaba toro daki taki na baka sama. Nindu angan na biti. Kan dau kati kati kina baka leuni kuno biti. Tare daki na bitar tar na biklai kina bi ro ro kopi. Ena kia na mali ona ndu diu mata mata era mbulu kina. Oni na rei da ni kili tani na senta ngo e biti. Pala tani tiri ngaba taki koe ka baka tamba gin dua, sara ngana bi tumbe rikeni toki, ena kiana huli di ka baka mbimbi, kiana huli di na bi kambi bi suwa baka toki, ena rani mbule tiki na toki na runa buru buru ela lebana, koe na buru buru a, toma nda baka huli di koe, ma iwale nda lenda abu pa toka ena banua, ta tiko bata kaya na kiana itoma na kiana baka rau, kiana nda kiana mbule baka bi bi ma luai baka bi okani, na 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 kiana kiana vosa na kiana ia mbula. Da kila ni buru buru boi kila tani kapa kanti tak tala kini entu ana toki eno ana buru buru tu mandong ko sambi bi me kila kue tu kini entu kini kira remalio na umo bata kini ana kila kue telang ana kira remalio na umo tan saro saro ngo ke satu dok ana na mbule ni biu dui entu kini ni sa kila kue na kau mbula so na roni bak kila ana na kelung ata ni subu eno entu ana umo tamata satu na ana yabu kini gelen na na umo kapa kito bata kue entu bak kalu me ru biu dui kaya Eno no buru buru toma tongo. Eno ima te ni buru buru boi bi tar taro kwa na ituke eno no no umani bos. Umana uma bos eni bonua. Eno bos baka ituke. Kapa ka tuta kena kena pombula itu ko kia baka ipaka ngatang itu. E ana ka tiki tiki kina ni buli ana investing ko ana buli te ni uma bos. E baka ruta kita langa na ngoni buli. Me bi me baka ru me baka ita bi na buru buru rambai le buni ni mulua iki buru buru. Kena bi ka ira yato kina. Bala tongo na karua ni buru buru. Elewe na nitoki. Sindra oni bo indua nitoki e vaka koi koi ma ebo na buru buru lebungu. Ngo e totu bata kedi kina na leo ni buru na ene pasifika. Ninda lewe na eru na buru buru. Ia na ka e rama e vaka buli di kina na ngo nitoki. Nisare dengo na na buli e vaka dorji kina. Ni 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 na laka ni na ma e buli na ba e bu buli buru e buli buno ni na ma e re de ni na ma e vaka lisu. Kena bi kambi bi balik ke mana? Na bunua, ini nama ibu lida. Na kakak aku tahun dua itu aku kena bunua. Itu aku pada kikian dah. Kena bingung nak kena. Gua entar nak kasih ayam lima ibu kian. Ewa itu adalah kambulat yang lama. Ewa lama ni bunua nak kuku lima bunga. Kau tak payah nasau kena mana? Nasau kena mana? Kuning ayam bunua. Kesian itu tak lendor bunua. Kesian ikan batu yang boros yang butuh butuh si kambal ayam. Kau boleh mahu kuning ayam bunua mahu rawatan. Nai bakar roni bunua bahu bakar nombu bunua jila. Roni kambiti aku nak kuku lima bunga nasau kena mana? Sana nama kita kan, saya pun boleh ni boleh boleh pun buat. Mereka tengok mikir mana, kena rumah ni mata bukan. Karena ni tu korang buat. Esok ni kena kena esok membuat. Sana itu masuk na ringgit rabi tiko esok ni ke esok membuat la mai suwa. Nirna tu mereka sumir dah kena lubenda na esok esok wow na dorong wow kena wanelwa. Enam dam dua korok kena delenyabu. Merna muleva mai na mata na buli ongo. Merani rata mana tiki na visusu ni nanda ito wakin ni barundi na wakay to kay kanta kila ita ni kina ninge barle ni toka sabi sa ba masut tinga merungay basi ka may na university na lube mo ni bakit to may susungira na bika o sa vanda kawuti sa ba kung na walib na ni natura na tutukun na lingwama Ni surit kami ni mo ninge ko tirme na nanda kawai toke na sila ni mata kami ramay buli nanda ba ko ko tay na kaya na maroy every kami balit kaya nanda toke. Improving the students' holistic experience and development has been a priority of the university. So participation in the institution's activities are warmly encouraged, even beyond graduation. With the alumni association nurturing the relationship between the university, parents, and the community in general. We also have um, social events that uh, the association organizes during the semester that tries to have, uh, that tries to create 
this um, robust environment experience for students. So not only that they are studying, but they are also enjoying it at the same time. There are now over 3,500 alumni, most of whom have found gainful employment thanks to the University of Fiji's focus on disciplines relevant to the open market, community and industry collaboration, and professional development. As uh, alumni, we are confident of being able to hold our own against graduates from other universities, both uh, locally and abroad. And uh, I thank the University of Fiji for helping uh, us learn a holistic experience and enabling us to compete out there in the marketplace and be competent movers and shakers. And we're a small enough university to be able to recognize our students when we see them out there in the community. And I think the most important part of our um, education here is that the classes are small, uh, the community is small, uh, and we are able to give quality education almost on a one-to-one -one basis, a one -on one-on-one basis. So um, the, the, the quality of what we do is really always at the top. Uh, of my mind as we proceed. And so for, with that in mind, we are reviewing all the programs, as I've said, um, of uh, the university to ensure that not only are we topical, but modern as well, but and also something that answers to the 21st century um, environment uh, with the pandemic, or with global um, change, and global uh, climate change, uh, global warming, all of those things, we're trying to be, ensure that we remain modern and topical and uh, that we provide the students with the kind of uh, education that is required in the modern and the postmodern world. My time here at the University of Fiji as a student was very grateful and fruitful. I'd like to thank the University of Fiji for the opportunities that they have provided me in upgrading myself, becoming the person I am today, and also they have helped me in ma making myself mar marketable in the market field and providing me a lot of good opportunities in job fields and all. We also have a vibrant uh, student association that encourages uh, students to voice out their opinions for them to contribute in the development of our growing institution. We, uh, the association represents students' interest in different levels of uh, the institution. And in fact, the university is proud to say that all of its programs are now um, registered in the Fiji Qualification Council's framework uh, for approval. And so that it means that we're properly registered as well. And that's unusual because quite often you have some programs that are not registered, but all of our programs are now registered university-wide. So we're very pleased about that. Our advantage, of course, is that we're small. We're a small university, and it means that it's easier to get our programs approved, and it's also easier to um, make waves you know, in, in, in the community itself and in the media. So we're very pleased and proud about that, um, and uh, we just hope that we continue to have the media's attention as we proceed through 2021 and what is turning out to be one crisis after another in the medical sphere, because we're very conscious of the fact that there may be a vaccine available for COVID-19, but then there's all these variants that are coming up as well, and whether the vaccines will effectively respond to each one of those variants is something that we don't know. So my job as the head of the institution is to manage the risks for the university and to mitigate the risks. And I'm doing that by ensuring that the health and safety of our community at the University of Fiji is paramount.